guys! So today's video is going to be about naturalism and I'm going to be talking about um, the elements of naturalism in August Treinberg's play, The Father. Naturalism is a modern movement in European drama. It urges playwrights to create an illusion of reality uh, using theatrical strategies to present a realistic story and an accurate representation of complex human psychology. August Steinberg is a Swedish author who penned what is considered to be the most perfect example of naturalism, which is his play, Miss Julie. Another one of his plays that is labeled as naturalistic is The Father. The latter is considered one of his most popular plays and an incredibly famous work in general. This fame is owed to its naturalistic elements that give it the qualities of being relatable and fairly universal. But what are these elements exactly? First, most basic elements of any play like characters and locations in a naturalistic play should be realistic and feasible. The characters need to be human. There is no place for fabulous heroes or mythical monsters, you know? You can't have hippogriffs, uh, you can't have vampires, you, you, can, you, can't, you, can't, you can't have um, titans or anything like that. You can't have talking animals either. All the characters need to be real and they need to be human. This is present in Steinberg's play, as all the characters are average humans. We have Adolf, we have Laura, we have Bertha, we have Margaret, we have the pastor, we have the doctor, etc. They're all human. Their problems and issues are all very commonplace. The captain is a father and rules over a household, so he quarrels with his wife, fusses over financial accounts, and tries to provide the best education for his daughter. You know, real people problems for characters who the author needs to make as similar to real people as possible. So, no vampire boyfriends, um, no dark lords to defeat, nothing like that. Um, so yeah, they need to be real and their problems need to be, you know, normal, real problems. In addition to this, the characters of a naturalistic play are usually overwhelmingly influenced um, by their environments, which applies to Adolf in his hatred of women, since his past experiences with them were suspicious and the ones he's surrounded with now are trying to steal his control over his daughter. So you can see that all of his opinions and everything that drives him to do the things that he does is driven by his experiences and his environment and people that he's met and interacted with because he's had bad experiences with women before, because he's seen bad women before, he assumes that all women must be like this, including his wife and every female in his household. The location should also be normal, okay? Not Hogwarts. It needs to be normal, it needs to be mundane. Not to mention, it needs to be singular, as in the entire play needs to happen in one place. In The Father, all of the action happens in the captain's home, in one room which makes sense for a naturalistic play and is very similar to what Steinberg did in Miss Julie where all of the action of the play happened in the kitchen. Second, the naturalistic play should deal with heavy and impactful topics. The major problem that the characters deal with should be a life-changing one. In The Father, the subject that causes all the turmoil is that of Bertha's education. Her mother wants her to be an artist. Her father wants her to be a free thinker. And the conclusion to this could very well decide Bertha's fate, as well as reveal once and for all whether it is Laura or Adolf that has the most dominance in their relationship. Moreover, Adolf's inability to shape his daughter after himself in his eyes is synonymous with facing his own mortality. So you see this is a very heavy stuff. In the end, Laura drives him insane and turns his daughter against him, so it's safe to say that Bertha will most likely become an artist and that Laura is in fact more powerful than her husband. I mean, I mean like uh, intellectually at least, if not physically. Third, the play should be simple and the father is exactly that. The characters speak in everyday language with no unnecessary embellishments. The plot is clear and straightforward with no side stories or subplots. 
we see a single chain of actions unrolling that are written with respect to Aristotle's three unities of time, place, and action. The story is realistic and believable without being boring, and the characters' thoughts and intentions are unambiguous. This play also succeeds in exploring Adolf's and Laura's, to an extent, psyche without derailing from the initial story or complicating the work. Adolf is suspicious of women because of the behavior he's observed before and was subjected to, and Laura has been so spoiled as a child that she developed an egotistic mentality. To her, all that matters is getting what she wants, no matter what she has to do to get it. In conclusion, this play is almost as perfect an example of naturalism as Miss Julie. It follows the rules of naturalism, it depicts ordinary life and realistic issues, and ponders important philosophical themes, while placing huge emphasis on psychology. Despite it being a short-lived movement, naturalism encompassed brilliant works like this one and many others. So there you go, that's all I've got for this video. Um, these are the naturalistic elements um, in The Father. If you think I missed something, feel free to comment. Um, I hope you liked this. I hope this helped you if you're studying this play or something like that. And um, that's all I've got. I realize I've been talking really fast. I hope you understood everything. Anyway, that's all I've got. If, if you have suggestions for more videos like this, because I think that's the first time I make a video like this, like that's about literature, leave them in the comments for me and I'll see what I'll do about it. Um, for the two, three people that are actually watching this, which are uh, basically my, my two best friends. Um, yeah, because like, <laughs> I'm a loser. Anyway, thank you for watching, whoever you are, wherever you are, and have a nice day.